Hey guys, Ben Funderburg. Hey man, fishing. We in Cherokee. We're gonna check out River Valley Campground. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we are walking across the road. Now, and this is where you're gonna be parking if you're gonna come up here to the campground because the park now is gated and uh, the only way to get in here is to park and then walk down here. Now, there's a little bit of an effort to walk. Now, you gotta do some walking, but that's okay. Now, they stock down here uh, the truck comes in here and stocks and uh, I'm going to show you and when you walk in here you're going to see this sign here it says uh, catch and release only and that's true but there's a the borders down here and I'm going to show you where that's at now you got it's gated like I say if you stand in the campgrounds here but you can come right over here and open up this gate and go in and come down here to fish okay and this gate it's pretty new i think that's been here about two years now but uh when you get down here you can fish all this all the way around the campground and it's a pretty good size campground uh park and uh, a lot of good holes, a lot of good holes in here. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you at least two uh, great spots in this uh, River Valley campground area that you need to try to fish while you're up here in Cherokee. You got a couple other minor places you can hit. All right, y'all, y'all see this walk bridge right here? The walk bridge. This is going to be your border between the catch and release and the catch and keep. So when you're down here, everything to the right of this uh, walkway, this walkway right here and everything to the right is catch and release. You best have a fly rod with you when you're fishing to the right of this. And once you get in here, you can fish all you want from the left all the way up uh, with your uh, spinner, ultralight spinner. You can use, even use uh, fly rods if you want to. Okay, guys, you know, I told you the border sign, and it's showing on this side here. The next 2.2 miles catch and release only, five fishing only okay and one thing good about the fall uh i think it's november 1st is when this campground shuts down uh, but you can fish it year round you just have to deal when uh the park's open uh you're gonna have to uh kind of be respectful and go around these campers to get your way down there to the bank i'm gonna hit this little area right down in here now, I tell you what, this is a good example, and I left my old man rope in my truck. So with these leaves, you don't know what's up under them, and you can simply fall and get hurt or fall through a hole. So in the fall, you really got to be careful. We're just going to do a little quick hit right in here. Good little area, a lot of little pockets. One thing you might want to, I got another video on what uh, gear you need in Cherokee, but one thing you might want to invest in is one of these rubber hook keepers, especially when you're putting your uh, gear in the back of your truck. It keeps everything uh, nice and tidy and you won't get hooked up on your other rods or any other equipment. And keep in mind, they had about 30,000 fish. The fall, what they were going to put in for the fall, uh, it got washed out of that raceway. 
when uh, they had that hurricane come through. Yeah, but they ought to be back in operation sometime after the first year. I know they were evaluating what they were going to do. And uh, they are not stocking right now. They mentioned that they were going to start back in January. Uh, but they were going to do some kind of monthly stocking with the uh, catch and uh, release area. I'm using a number two uh, spinner. It's called a it's called a blue fox. Y'all know on my other videos I use this quite a bit. Uh, basically, about all I do use, except if I'm bottom fishing, I'm using uh, crickets and uh, night crawlers. So you get in this area up here, hit this little spot when. You, when you come across past the bridge, hit this little area right in here. See if you got anything in there. Like I've told you in all of my videos, hit it a few times. If they in there, they're going to hit it right. I'm going to tell you, they're going to hit it right off. Trout, unlike uh, bass and crappie, these, these trout that they put in here, they're going to hit year round. It ain't, they, ain't got, they ain't got nothing to do with the weather. The heat or the cold. All right, we're gonna walk a little further down. And the main purpose of this video is to show you where to fish. Now, hey, if we catch something, that's a plus. We're gonna hit another little area right here. One thing good about these spinners, if you get hung up, like I just got hung up on a rock or something. You can walk out here and get it. All right, we got that out. Oh, I just had a good hit right there. All right, you can see how that, that water kind of smooths out. Good place to fish. We're gonna go down right here, throw in there a little bit. All right. Water's a little bit smoother. It's running just over a foot, or even four. So, down a little bit. All right, let's go down here. We got the white water coming over the rapids. It's a little bit deeper in here. We're to pick up some fish. Let's go down and try it. All right, guys. Let's throw in here. Let's see if we can get you a big one. Let's run that through there. Little old blue fox. Give us a sh this is a sure place to try. Right up here at these rapids. So and other two places are kind of hit and miss sometimes I would think but here you got more water it's just smooth out I like that they got a staircase right over here you can walk down so when you're walking into the park if you want to come straight here and just come to the, the uh, stairs go straight down stairs would be a a little bit safer instead of having to go all through these these leaves and you're not sure what's up on there all right we're gonna hit this right in here with the blue fox water a little bit deeper this is a good location to drop those uh night crawlers in and just let them float from a cork or just throw out there and just let it just put a weight on it and just let it float across there and pick them trout off the bottom pick them. i think we're gonna we're gonna use these stairs take advantage of the stairs going back all right here's you another i'm not too far from where the stairs are if you come up here you got all this 
flat water going through here. Good casting water. Good casting in here. Just remember B15 or this curve around the side of this hill. Go down right here. We're gonna cast right in here. We got all that in front of us. All right, let's get out of here. All right, when you're up here, right up the road from where I park is uh, the River Valley uh, Campground Store. Come up here. We're gonna walk inside. I'm gonna show you what they got. Yeah, and I'm kind of plugging for them. They got some good hot dogs. Okay, guys, this store, the River Valley Campground Store, they got a ton of spinners, uh, different brands, the Rooster Tail, they got these uh, short strikers, and my favorite, which they look like they might be out. Uh, this is the number one uh, blue fox. But you can see all the blue foxes in here are sold out. That tells you something. Look at all these blue foxes. Ain't none of them in none of them in here. They need to be restocked. So come in here if you're low on gear. Come in here and uh get you some tackle and uh another thing you want to do i tell you every time i'm up here i'm always coming in here they got good hot dogs i like their chili uh, come over here and get you a hot dog over here and uh make it yourself they got the slaw and the chili over there they can get you some boiled peanuts <laughs> all right so got a view of the store okay guys that's gonna wrap it up on this episode I mainly wanted to show you River Valley Campground, some places to fish when you're up here in Cherokee. And uh, of course we had to contend with the, the fall leaves. That's gonna be one of the things you have to deal with. Campground, they closed the gap campground on November the 1st. So, but you can fish year round. Like I said earlier, you can fish year round. You just got to go through the gate and park across the roof. So give it a try next time you're in Cherokee, North Carolina, River Valley Campground. Look, if you're not a, a, a member, a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Make some comments. I'd like to know how you've done up here uh, when you come up here. If you actually fish the River Valley Campground, uh, the, the river in the Raven Fork, leave some comments. Let me know how you did. And then afterward, come up here and get you a hot dog. Uh, and if you need some spinners, they got them in there. And they got the blue foxes. they about out of stock in there on blue fox. But anyway, give it a try. Until next time. God bless all of you and have a great week.